How's it, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my review for Fear the Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 3. This episode is entitled Humbug's Gulch. But first, remember, if you guys are new, make sure to check out my social media and vlogging channel down in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into this. So overall, I thought this episode was pretty solid. I do have a few issues with it, but I definitely would say it's probably the best episode of the season so far out of these first three episodes. Yeah, this one's probably the best. And let's just get it out of the way. Dwight's return, man, that was really, really sick. Uh, but I'll get into that later in the video and give, give more of my thoughts on that. But the Alicia and Luciana and Morgan stuff, obviously, I guess everyone's kind of split up and Luciana and Alicia are together and Morgan's kind of soloing, trying to find the kids. And uh, John and Al, uh, not John and Althea, John and June are trying to find Althea. And uh, I guess the kids too, but yeah, a lot of people are missing right now, so they're just kind of trying to find them. And I do kind of want to talk about the ending here real quick. Like, the kids are revealed as kind of villains, I guess, and they've been the ones setting up the Walker blockades, which obviously our characters have been struggling and trying to find the mystery behind them all, like who's been setting up uh, all the blockades and whatnot. And yeah, it's revealed that the kids have been doing it and that they've kind of been lying to them. And it almost seems like they're trying to protect something in this area. Like, I do th still think there's something weird about this area. And, you know, they're just like, ooh, why are you guys here? Why'd you crash land in this area? Like, it's protected or some shit. And I don't really know. Like, I feel like a bunch of stuff is connected here. Like, maybe Logan is like their grandpa or something. Like, we still didn't see anything of Logan or Strand and all that sort of side to things in this episode which is fine because i think the episode worked with the stories that it focused on um and i don't think it needed to get overcrowded really but i do think in certain ways it is you know kind of connected and the stuff with the nuclear not nuclear uh radiation stuff but like what does that have to do with everything like grace kind of just left and we still don't really know where she is now so Hopefully we kind of see how everything ties together, but overall I did like this part of the episode, them trying to figure out the mystery, but I will say I don't like the direction they're taking the kids, like I thought the kids would just kind of be new characters and new additions to the season, but it doesn't really look like that, it looks like they're going to be uh, more villain-like characters, which is kind of annoying, but oh well, we'll see where it goes with all of that. But moving on to the John and June stuff and Dwight stuff. Basically, John and June, they end up in this, like, cowboy town called Humbug's Gulch, and they're trying to find more weapons, and they run into Dwight along the way, and, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Like, we find out Dwight's actually been trying to find Sherry, and, you know, it makes sense, and we also find out it's been almost a year since the events of the Season 8 finale, so we're kind of connecting the dots with all of that and, like, what Dwight has been doing in that time. And, you know, we don't really see, like, flashbacks or anything, but they kind of explain it, like, you know, he's just been trying to follow Sherry's trail that she's been leaving for him, and, uh, yeah, John and June figured this out, and, uh, now they're trying to help Dwight basically find her now, because John and June, since they found each other, they believe that, you know, they can help find Dwight, uh, find Sherry, so... It makes sense, um, I guess, by their standpoint, but there's a lot of weirdness to this episode, like, uh, they say the the Walking Dead franchise has always been a western, like, yeah, I understand, like, it always kind of feels like a western, like, obviously in the very first episode of the main show, The Walking Dead, Rick's on a horse, you know, he has a very cowboy-like hat, but the music they have in this episode, and the setting, and the whole thing with the, like, San Antonio splitter, I think that's what it was called, I don't even know, um, when John shoots the bullet, at uh the axe that Dwight's carrying and it splits off and shoots the two walkers like that was really really dumb um and kind of annoying but yeah it, like it was like kind of overboard with the western vibe and personally I just didn't really like that but you know that's just me I don't know I'm sure some other people liked it but yeah it just it felt like really crazy and like stupid but yeah silly I guess is the best way to put it but Dwight's return him meeting back up with Morgan at the end too uh, I guess Morgan is kind of okay with him like they're chill they're trying to move uh, away from their past so to speak so I'm really interested to see where they take Dwight's character and the rest of this season so I guess let me hear your thoughts on this episode down in the comments below and if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one peace boop